Hey guys, you're ready back again with another video and today I'm going to show you part one of my little project I have going on and that is a remote start for a car uh, through your cell phone via text message. So uh, it's better than a Bluetooth module or Wi-Fi um, or radio frequency for that matter because uh, you could be anywhere and as long as you have cell signal, as long as your car has a cell signal, uh, you're fine. You're able to start your car. So, uh, the little setup I got here, I got the Arduino Uno, a 8 relay board, a GSM module, and a 5 volt, or a power supply set to 5 volts. So, the GSM module, that has a, a SIM card in it, which I'm using track phone service because it was like the cheapest thing I could get. 30 bucks for 180 texts and the SIM card plan I guess I don't know it's every three or four months you have to pay that which isn't that bad so um, that is talking to the Arduino so when it sees a text message coming in it says what number it's coming through coming from and uh, the text that it's pushing through so I have some functions in the Arduino so if it comes from my number it's gonna look at it and if it comes in with the message saying start, it's going to run the start function of the car, which um, I just have two relays for that. One is the ignition relay, which turns on. The second relay is the starter, which it's going to stay at. That one's going to stay on for one and a half seconds. Uh, that's probably how long the car is going to take. Turn off, and then the ignition relay will stay on for about seven or eight more minutes. Um, after that, if you are not in the car, it's just going to shut off and act like uh, it was never on. So um, that would kind of be like, so you don't, if you accidentally text it or whatever, and it does have to turn on, you're not just sitting there wasting your gas and, oh crap, I wasted a tank of gas just sitting there by accident. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be turning it on and showing you how it works. All right, so flipping the switch here. We have 5 volts, almost 5 volts, then we have the GSM module turning on, it is uh, blinking rapidly, and then it's going to do a more slow blink uh, once it's connected to a network. Um, the Arduino, you can't really see any LEDs on there because of the glare, but power light's on, and number 13 is on for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, so I'm going to get my handy dandy smartphone over here. And now you see it says it's sending it to the truck. The command is start. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, send. And then it received it. So it came in. And then you see the one relay. Then the second relay, being the starter, turned off. And now it's going to stay on for uh, eight minutes. So right now I'm working on it. So... Um, Instead of just an eight minute straight delay, uh, it's gonna be maybe a 10 second delay, but delay it for eight minutes. So that way it's kind of like an interrupt. So if another message does come through, like a stop function, then you will be able to shut off the vehicle instead of waiting the eight minutes. Right now, if you go to send it stop, it won't see that message until the eight minutes is up. Then it moves on, sees that next message, and then um, it won't do anything because it's already off. So this is going to be part one. In part two, um, we're going to take a look at the code uh, once I kind of update it a little bit more of how I want to do it. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of idea. Um, it's going to be pretty awesome, especially for the winter time. Wake up in the morning, hit uh, text the truck, and then go out to a nice warm truck. So anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.